Welcome to Riding Horses with Kathy Slack. Today I'm going to teach you how to groom your horse for your everyday ride. We're going to start with the rubber curry comb. This brush is intended to go in a circular fashion. It's going to bring up all the heavy debris and dirt and of course it's springtime so much of the hair that she's shedding. We're going to start with this brush up near her head and then we'll work our way all the way down her body to her tail. Of course we're going to go over her legs, but we'll be more careful of those bony prominences. We don't want to scrape hard over anything that might be delicate and not very well flesh covered. So now I'll go ahead and groom her from head to toe. Starting up at the top with a nice firm circular stroke. Going in that way I'll bring up all the dirt and the debris and you can see there's a lot of hair. This is my new project. Her name is Quinn. She's a lovely young horse and we're beginning to make our show career. and We've had a lot of fun in getting up to those three foot jumping classes. As I go down her leg, this is where I'll be more careful with those bony areas, but I will go all the way down and inspect for any problems that she might be getting as she is a horse that gets turned out on a nightly basis. After I've completed that whole process with the rubber curry, I'm going to go to my stiff body brush. This has bristles that are going to be also helpful in getting some of that rough debris. After that, of course, I'll, I'll finish it with my soft brush and that'll put that polish on her. So we'll do the same going from head to toe, but with some nice short, firm strokes that do go in the direction of her hair coat. So here I'm not going to be going in any circular fashion, but I will use it in a way that brings up the dirt and the debris and we're still seeing a lot of white hair coming off. I am very fond of gray horses. I seem to get a lot of them, but they do require a lot more maintenance. Here I can go down her leg and I can use those firm short strokes to, you know, inspect every part of her leg and this will be kind to her. Following that, I'm going to use my soft bristle body brush. Very soft, should bring up the shine and the luster, helps to create that oil coat that we're looking for. Starting again, head to toe. This one feels soft, it's very pleasant. And then I'll go all the way down her leg, making sure <clears throat> that I cover every inch of her body with this. And although grays don't look particularly shiny like my bays, it does a nice job of creating a pretty horse. After that, I'm going to go to her tail and her mane. I don't overbrush their manes and tails for my everyday ride. We know that a pretty tail is a very important feature of a show horse. She happens to have a lovely tail, so I'm going to be gentle. I'll stand to the side of her so I'm never in a position where she might accidentally kick me. Very pleased with her ground manner. She's delightfully kind. But I'll hold the tail in a place where I can start at the bottom. And then I'll move my hand up and continue through the center of her tail. There's a little piece of something, some shavings, and we'll try to get that out. But other than that, I'm going to leave her tail just fine for today. And then if I were showing, I'd make sure I really took every strand apart and enhanced the whiteness. After that, I will go back to her face. I like to save the face for the last of her body. That way she doesn't get a little upset because sometimes horses aren't as happy about having their faces groomed. I'll step back out of my cross ties and I'll let her, inter I'll introduce it slowly starting up here, and then I can brush along the areas, avoiding the eyes. <clears throat> it has become quite common in our horse world, and I think it's a great, a great thing to have discovered, but baby wipes are really good for working around their face. If your horse has a little allergies or their eyes get kind of matted up, you can take a baby wipe and gently go up and wipe around their face. getting any of the, say, the eye goobers out. So you can see it takes off a lot of dirt that we might otherwise leave on them. After I've completed her body, I'm gonna to go to her hooves. Hooves are really our most important feature of the horse in protecting and keeping them clean and healthy. Just a simple hoof pick. I don't need any particularly fancy. I'm gonna stand what we call shoulder to shoulder, being ready to pick up her hoof. She's young, I need to be prepared to hold it firmly to help teach her that it's okay to be polite with this. After I've picked it up and I'm holding it, I'm not gonna pull it up too far. That can put some stress on their joints and make them uncomfortable. 
and not like this process. So right now I'll go ahead and pick up her hoof by running my hand down, leaning into her a little bit. Then I'm gonna use my right hand to hold it firmly. After that, I can pick it. We can be a little bit aggressive in those areas near the shoe or within the frog, the deep crevice along each, each side of the frog. I'll even turn it around going backwards, making sure that I find any debris that could be lodged within the shoe and the frog. After that, I'll set it back down, and then I'm gonna to go to some hoof oil or hoof conditioner. I like conditioners that apply moisture and help my horse to keep their foot in good condition. They come with a brush. It'll, it comes out nice and oily. I'll, again, I'm gonna pick up her hoof. I actually like to apply it to the bottom as well as the top. Of course, it's gonna get dirty on the bottom, but it does have a protective layer as I get ready to ride, and then it'll soak in and make sure that I've addressed all parts of the hoof. Then I'll re-dip and I'll go back in to the hoof where it meets the, the hair or the coronary band, going around the back, getting the heel, and just applying a good heavy coat around the entire hoof.